meeting is said and done? Probably not very much. I don't own treasuries, and I'm positive on the U.S. economy. Uh, I think we're going to see tapering. Do you have to own treasuries if you want to be in fixed income? It depends on what your uh, full allocation is. You're always going to want to have some small allocation to treasuries. The challenge is that going forward, we're likely to see rising interest rates, so negative returns for treasuries. Investors right now are challenged to find good sources of income. And there are ways to get those opportunities by looking beyond the Treasury market. Let me ask you before we get into some specific ideas, in terms of how this tapering plays out over the next couple of months, so rates are going to rise, does that mean the Fed will continue just to slowly reduce these purchases, do you think? I think the Fed is going to remain, as they have said, data dependent. But the time is now to at least start tapering. There's enough uh, data in the economy, housing, autos, retail sales, all much better. So the time is to, is to start tapering now, but it's a fragile economy. So let's see how strong it really is. And I think a lot of attention will be on what their forward language is.